y'all, hey y'all, hey, it's your girl Just Free coming at you with another video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. So, the last video I uploaded, um, talking about Liv and giving a different perspective. And, woo chow, y'all was mad with me. But, guess what? That is okay. Um... You know, I believe in free speech. I didn't want to delete any comments. I want everybody to say what they thought. And um, so I appreciate all of it. Probably lost some subscribers, too. But that's okay. I just wanted to give a different perspective, um, particularly from a Christian point of view. Um because regardless of how ugly it looks, you know, God can do all things, right? So, and and that's my, um, that's my, you know, my ultimate um, hope and prayer for this family and, and all families that's going through this, you know, um, Prayer works. Prayer changes things, changes people. So, you know, I'm mean, that's not nothing. That's not, that's not nothing to argue about. I can I'm not gonna argue about with God, but I know God can do. Okay. Um so I just hope that, you know, that's something that Gerard and Nisha, you know, pray about every night. That um, you know, God will work the situation out so that they can co-parent in a peaceful, you know, and cordial manner. Um, and 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 that's okay because that ultimately that should be the goal. Anyway, anyway, so let's get into it because I want to get um get into this commentary about um how Liv has been posting multiple videos within the past couple of days so so let's see what they're talking about um this person said can you give us some notes if, if it's not too much trouble she cannot get a view from me child I agree I'm not I, I, I didn't have any plans on watching the video either I just been listening to a lot of, re you know, to some of the reactions and, of course, read the comment section just so I can find out what's going on. Um, so this person responded, some folks were in there cutting up and her mind were, weren't doing shit about it. Long story short, when she picked up the kids, she said Ryan told her that her beads and her hair hurt and left proceeded to text her ride. To tell old girl don't put bees in Ryan's hair and she needs to do Ryan's hair. Oh, and that Nisha being an app because she know how Gerard talks and that they don't show how the kids' hair really be. Hey, what? Liv proceeded to text Gerard to tell old girl don't put bees in Ryan's hair and she needs to do Ryan's hair. <laughs> okay. So apparently Jazz and her ugly ass um, made a comment during the live and somebody responded to her and said, shut up, you can't even handle the five you got. And I seriously, like Jazz, ugh, she is another one. She need her face slapped in. <laughs> And I know I say this, I am anti-violence, but who we, if two people ain't never needed their face slapped in, it's Olivia and Jazz the man. <laughs> so, um, this person, Anita Marsh says, thank you so much. Ryan has been wearing beef for over a year. <laughs> and now they are hurting her allegedly. If I were Nisha, I would say no problem. You can do that hair for school. Tuna, evil ass, probably pulled her hair and said, does that hurt, baby? <laughs> um, I, I don't, I mean, 
Let's just keep reading, child. So this person said, at her big age, those kids used to stay looking like who did it and why while in her care. She just has no life and wants some attention. Um, so what I, from what I gather, this particular rant was about how, you know, Olivia was saying, um, that Antonisha, you know, she, um, basically that it's her duty to care for the children. Now, all of a sudden, it's her duty, you know, um, because Liv realizes that she lost, you know. She gets her kids four days out the month. And at this point, in order for Liv to make herself feel better, you know, she has to find a way to make Antonisha seem as though, you know, Olivia is um it, it, you know like she's some uh like she's beneath Olivia you know in that um basically Antonisha is doing this and she's not getting anything for it um Is basically what she's trying to say. Why is that woman obligate? So, oh, yeah. So she's saying that um, Antonisha's obligated to do what she's doing for those children. And that, you know, so that makes her feel better saying that for whatever reason. First of all, bitch, ain't nobody obligated to do shit for my kid. Okay. But that helps her to cope because she can't do half the shit Antonisha does. Antonisha, those kids, you see such a difference versus um, when the kids are with, you know, Rod and Antonisha versus Olivia. Um, Beauty 44 says, so let me get this straight. She can't post them but has to have them in tip-top shape before they go visit their mom. Yeah, how are you going to tell them she can't post them, but she's obligated to do for them? I mean, girl, what is it? Make up your mind. You know, she get on here and her, her supporters gas her up. Like, first of all, girl, listen, at the end of the day, if Tanisha left today or tomorrow... She is not a hostage. She doing this because she loves Gerard. And you just cannot fathom somebody doing something out of the love for a man that you ran away. So now that another woman has stepped up to the plate and said, hey, you know, you know, that stepped up to the plate and that's willing to do for three children that are hers, you know, it, it, it just boggles your mind because you a piece of shit. Now, if you decided to date somebody and get engaged and they had three kids that they had custody of, what the fuck would you do? Wouldn't you try to make them feel loved and attentive to? I mean, honestly, like, what the fuck are we talking about here? This is, I mean, this Anthony, she's a grown ass woman. She's not going to mistreat the children to make you feel better because that's what it seems like you want. Because the more love that the children, that children receive, the better off they'll be. But you think you could just pick and choose what she decides to do for the kids in the presence of their father when they have a whole father? I mean, granted, 
you know, um, and she told you, um, certain things. I don't know about the whole bee thing, but I mean, I don't know. I can't think of nothing right now. But I'm sure there are, you know, certain things that if you step to her like a woman and been like, yo, you know, I don't want you to do this, that, or whatever, um, because I got this. Don't maybe, okay, say, you know, no, I don't want you to do their hair. I'm getting it done. Then I think she should respect that. But you haven't said that. Because you know good and damn well, you're not going to keep up with that hair. And hell, you only have it four days a month. So how the fuck would you be able to tell her that? Unless you got that hair braided, you know, um, you know, once a month or something like that. But Liv, you know, you ain't about to do no shit like that. So the fact that she steps up to the plate. It really just makes you look like a piece of shit. But, you know, I, your supporter is going to always make you feel like you that bitch. So, Queen for me, Queen of Me says, if this hoe were to put all that energy, time, and effort that she puts into her baby daddy and his woman into working out and <laughs> she would be one skinny bitch. God damn, ain't she tired? <laughs> I know that's right. You know, and it's so crazy because it's like, girl, not for nothing. You know, I would never lose my kids, but let's just say, you know, they did go to live with their father. Bitch, I would be on a treadmill. I would be hustling. Like, okay, you know what? Let me take this opportunity to do some shit right in my life for a change. But you know that that's not her, that's not her MO. Because if she had it all up to her, all she would do is sit up there and have a bunch of babies. Because one thing she knew Gerard was going to come home and take care, help take care of him. But he, um, he bust her bubble when he went and got the damn vasectomy um, because he saw that he couldn't rely on her to do her part. While he was out there working, busting his ass, doing construction or whatever the hell he was doing at the time. You know, why she stayed home. And I'm not saying... That, you know, on the weekends or his days off, yeah, he could help do those things. But if not, I wish my man would go to work all fucking day long and got to come home and bathe some kids. Girl, bye. She says, um, she was ignoring all the posts asking about her lawyer, a gag order, and why she got some kids taken. At this point, I would be sorry, I ain't Gerard, if he didn't get a gag order on her ass. She said that Gerard caught her a piece of shit. But she can't say why. But she didn't say why. And I bet she didn't because it was when she didn't say Christian to his game. The dummy thinks she slipped by changing their names. And then came out of character numerous times like a dummy. The funny is that bitch said that she will incense Nisha wants the job. She got it. Literally a fucking demon to the highest power. Um... It is glaringly evident Olivia is purposely antagonizing them in order to get a negative reaction so she can call the police on them. <sighs> she is unhinged. It's so funny seeing her downplay all the shit she doesn't do because she's a lazy ass bum. Sound is stupid and ignorant the whole life. Uh, she wants to be a baby mama from hell to get them to slip up and whoop her liar ass. All while being held up in that shack, too scared to take your son to a football game, located him behind your 
Yo, I think it's hilarious and pathetic at the same time. Because you talk so much shit, knowing damn well, you by yourself, but you scared to death. You scared to death to go up to that damn football field, girl. You know how many events you're going to have to attend? You got three motherfucking kids, bitch. You're going to have to attend somebody events eventually. Just so you know, sis, you're going to run into a... And it's a <laughs> You gonna run into Aunt Tanisha. She ain't gonna say shit to you because you ain't worth going to jail, bitch. But let one of them family members. Ooh, honey child. One of them family members, they just might not be able to just may come out of the out of, out of left field, honey. Cause I I'm I might would. I might would. And and um if Nisi has show up, she really gonna be <laughs> <laughs> Nisi should have whooped her ass a long time ago. Ugh. And then has on the same tank from last night. Third little cheddar teeth. Now Beta has got us to talk shit on YouTube. A liar's ass is going down and she knows that she's trying to antagonize. And another thing, what makes her think Gerard wouldn't call her a piece of shit. She just thinks she knows that man so well. Um, so far not to be responsible for Zolo's baby. Uh, she wants to run Nisha off, so she can have Gerard. She said many times in that live that Nisha's days are numbered. Gerard needs to bring some child support and get those visits supervised. Um, I don't think she wants Gerard back. I just think she wants him single. You know, and, and I, there was a time you know, brief time where I felt that way, you know, where I felt the way because you get jealous. You're like, well, why they got somebody and I ain't got somebody? To me, that's more of what it is than anything. But if Olivia's stupid ass, I mean, I don't know what she could do now with an infant. Damn near, you know, he, what, I still call him an infant because I think he's just about to be one. You know, um, you got three kids and then an infant on top of that. Don't a man want to deal with that? I mean, no man of substance that's got anything, any little thing going for his damn self. So your ass really going to be single now. I mean, you had a chance, a possibility of finding somebody worth a little bit of salt before you decided to get knocked up with Zolo's baby that you ashamed of to even show. I mean, because if it wasn't Zolo's baby, why wouldn't you show him? Being that, you know, the father is allegedly some random man that you hooked up with right after you got busted in by Zolo, you know, I mean, um, honestly and truthfully, you so stupid that you don't realize that you basically saying you got nutted up on by two different dudes within the same, within a month's time frame, basically. I mean, just based on your timeline and when you ended up giving birth, you dumbass. Anyway, um... If you watch the live, she said no one can tell her she can't talk about anything that she can do what she wants. Because in the beginning of the live, she thought she was slick, giving them different names, Rose, Jack, and Helga. But then she kept slipping up when she read what was in the app. You could tell she was instructed not to speak on shit of how she was phrasing her sentences. So either Gerard threatened her with a gag or she knows one is coming. Um, a liar is scared the way she kept looking at the door talking about the mailman was leaving her mail you worried about what's in the mail <laughs> big and lame I see why they ran her ass out of high school yeah why don't somebody come? I wish they could find somebody that knew her from back in the day that would be fun I wonder how much begging and pleading Anthony has to do with her friends and family. <laughs> Not to go.
over there and rock to the world. I know her people want to get her bad. Yo, listen. I wouldn't, yo. I wouldn't even. <laughs> oh, I would have been got her ass if I was her family. Her family member. Oh, bitch. We would have been ran into each other. Because, um. Ooh, child. I'm trying to tell you. I know they got to, man, I know they, <laughs> they practically have to threaten them to keep them <laughs> Oh, child. I could just imagine. I wish somebody was antagonizing my brother or my, um, my sister like that. Bitch, I would, you would get fucked up. And can you, and the thing about it is, if she think about what she's doing, to Ryan and Tanisha, what if that was her sister? What if that was her brother? Somebody she cared about. That, you know, they could just come on YouTube because, just because this is, you know, um, they chose to bring all of this on here. So now you just gonna put every, all my business on display. Um, yeah, it's your story to tell, too, but, you know, everybody else get dragged into it that don't have shit to really do with what you decided to get on YouTube to do. You started out as a family channel. Now, everybody getting dragged into this mess and getting their business all put on blast. Um, so, uh, she told you, right, tell old girl not to put beads in Ryan's hair. It hurts her. Next time, she's going to take them out and tell her to do rabbit hair. Next time. Huh? She needs her ass beat the level of passive aggression by pretending to be healed and over it is mind-boggling. So in a mess, she thought she was sticking it to Big Rod, and he should by not taking Mr. Christian to his game. And she saw in the reactive pages, they were out kicking it all weekend, not thinking about her. <laughs> and everyone was calling her the babysitter. Anywho, all this means is we'll be dropping some damning tea on Tuna Can with her latest antics. People need to stop cussing Gerard for not doing nothing. You think his lawyer ain't doing this every time he gets his notification for Fat Soul's channel? <laughs> ah, why didn't she take it down to Cone Ryan's and Robin's hair? She is the mother. She thinks she's doing something. Those kids' hair are done after 6 p.m. on Sunday when they get them from you. Nisha does styles that last a week for school. How many Instagram videos on a Sunday? Denisha, tell Ryan to get the hair bucket. So if you're picking your kids up at 6 p.m. on Friday and her weak hairstyle wore itself out, that's on you till Sunday. Liz, tell me you have a wife. <laughs> oh, get out of here, you stupid computer, you shit. Somebody asked and she said no. She was in the house all day and didn't go anywhere. So why would she redo it? <laughs> ah, of course you didn't go anywhere, you stinking whore. Is this thing going to run out of space? I swear to gosh. She really thinks she's doing something. Gerard and Nisha, she coming to the realization that she's the babysitter. She complained about Robin's braids and they took them out. Now Robin's wearing her natural hair and she's still complaining. Oh, what's she complaining about with the natural hair? I I hope that she will eventually go back to Florida and cry from there. Yeah, she need to go back to Florida. It, this is awful. I've never been really against somebody losing custody. But my God. I mean, seriously? At least until she really gets over this situation because 
the energy she gives is just so awful. She goes off most of the most after the date night photos when she has her one weekend. Shouldn't you be worried about the kids you have for a short time? Meanwhile, every day is just looking like Newport, smelling like vinegar and mustiness. Big mad. Well, add a bit of weak old kitty litter to that. <laughs> Sitting in the house mad that she can't escape Stella's baby. <laughs> Likely mad at Raquel because she's telling Stella to let her fall on her face and stay in Florida. I don't think they put them out because she complained. They could care less what she said. Nobody pays her any attention. Her words don't mean shit. What really irks me about Liv is she tries to pin this evil stepmother label on Nisha when clearly she's loving on those kids and is a contributing factor to their growth and success. Gosh, she's such a horrible person. Liv is unhinged. Look how she treats that baby like shit on live. That baby's so desperate for attention. And Liv is annoyed and pretending to give a shit. Oh, you dropped your spoon head ass. That baby wanted to be picked up, but she can't because she's hiding from Zolo. Just because she's a pathetic, lazy sack of shit. She was manic in that live, all juiced up to piss off Nisha and Gerard. Um, all right, let's listen in a little. Oh, I thought it was a video. <laughs> um... I know she has to be tired of being in that house all of the time because Gerard and Nisha, Nisha people watching, waiting to catch her in Texas Street. Just know last time they were working behind the scenes, live your kids were taken away. Just imagine what's next, big mama. She sounds stupid AF with them name. Bitch, move around. And she's speaking, speaking of herself in third person. A little bit of it, yeah. Gerard's attorneys are on the field day. She was happy, smiling, and talking. That's shit. But watch that face fall when the judge reviews that bullshit in court. She's reading the messages from the parent app and laughing, looking like a damn fool. She's also insinuating Gerard is being coached and manipulated by Nisha. Big back, Gerard doesn't want you. Even if you left Nisha tomorrow, it will still never be you. She thinks this is all Nisha's doing, but Nisha didn't make you be an ain't shit mama. You did that all by yourself, trying to make all these demands when you are nothing but a womb. Women get paid thousands of dollars to carry other people's children. At least they're smart enough to monetize it. You over there broke. AF collections calling back to back playing babysitter to sell Nisha and Gerard's children. Pitiful. And why is she clearly using Yanni's words again, talking about hit the like when you enter the building? Who always says when you enter the building? Yanni. So, they didn't tell y'all the girls sit up there and watch reactors. No, I don't know how many times they got to tell y'all that. I would have to take a charge dealing with Liv. That fat sloppy whore popped too much shit for me. Patience pays off in a little while. She'll be out of their lives. And, you know, honestly, I would not be mad. I just, I would not be mad. Like, if they, man. Someone in the chat asked Stella if she was going to still start a channel. And she responded, I don't know. So much is going on in every direction. Um... This person said, I do not have the kind of restraint the webs do. I'd have to pop her by now. Okay. Gerard, you are starting to low-key irritate me. When you're going to put a muzzle on that big, hefty thing, bitch. Um, Earth to loyalty gang, you're a dumbass leader. Judges in America do not take children away from a home and place them in another home, a safe and healthy home, for no reason. It doesn't work that way. I don't know what part of that they don't understand. Like, seriously, what part of that don't they understand? 
Um, and if they were so concerned about her, they would have made sure she had the money to get her a lawyer. Like, she got one or two people in that so-called group that I guess she talked to. You know what I'm saying? Like, why couldn't they advise her? Liv, who the fuck do you listen to? Your best thinking got you right where you at today, miss. And that's seeing your kids four days a month. Why don't you listen to people? I don't understand. And that's why, that's what you, you know, you assume that those, that you didn't need a lawyer. Um, That's partially the reason why you're in the situation you in. And then it's like, you tell her to get a lawyer and she's still ignoring y'all. She's a psycho. And honest to God, I don't really think she wants the kids back now. I think she's settled into the fact that the kids are gone. And that, you know, she can dictate where she feels like she's able to dictate. Um... I don't know. I, you know what? I guess I, I, I'm i trying to think of what this crazy lady be thinking in her mind, but I guess you can't really make sense of crazy, right? But if I had to guess, like I said, I think she feels like she's sticking it to them right now. Um, Now that she's gotten over the initial, over the initial, you know, shock. Obviously, because she didn't think she would lose the kids, but now she feels like she's sticking it to them because they have to get them, you know, dressed and ready for school, take them to activities, and she don't have to be responsible for none of that. So to her, that's sticking it to them. But she's so stupid because, bitch, you're missing out on your kids and things that they're doing. Um, that's just not something a reasonable person could comprehend or accept, but clearly she's accepting it, you know, um, she has accepted it, I think, because partially, you know, who knows who, who raised her out there from... If I understand it correctly, you know, Stella was probably in and out and she probably was raised, you know, a a little bit by everybody. So she probably didn't have a, a lot of stability, you know. So to her, I think that She accepts that this is, you know, the reality. Um, <sighs> the bitch saying she's not gonna do her daughter's hair when they're going home to their dad's house just to prove a point because she doesn't prove points but you didn't do her hair to prove a point what and when all you do is lie all day and day out um yeah that's no surprise like this girl is whacked out She's a real psycho. Like, nobody who does that. I'm not going to do hurt my child's hair because whatever. Because of what some other woman, you know, does for my children. <laughs> like, what? Um, I 
At one point, Robin was cutting up a little bit, but asked for an expensive toy. Big Rob said, go ask your mom. You do have a mom. You can ask for things as well. He said, Robin ain't said a thing. After that, she knows she can't go to her mother for anything, especially financially. This is good for Robin to grasp. Since she, since she thinks it's most easily to get suckered into by her mom's manipulation, let her see for herself who really supports her and who just brings the drama into her life. Look at this mess. Look at it. She's so, I'm that bitch. I'm that bitch. Like, why are you okay acting like that with three fucking, well, four kids? I mean, at some point, you have to be an adult. I wonder if they have a gag order. Um... They also show her that she benefits from staying in the child's place. And I promise you, I hate her, but in her instance, oh, she did talk about a boyfriend and taking their money at eight, not eight, nine years old. Yeah, she did have a conversation. Uh, you don't need all that to know that that's that man, baby. And there was absolutely nothing in that empty ass cup she brought from Amazon. Beefy found the gag order, it seems. I can't listen to her voice, but here it is. Uh oh, let's hear about it. Um, the cease and desist letter that lives in Fifi is at 1351. It was horribly drafted. Financial statement between Liv and Gerard looks as though it's court fees. Boring stuff. Um, she never turns off the camera to actually comfort the baby. She's always talking about something. Bye, bye, bye. What's wrong? Ah. Bitch, pick him up. Imagine screaming to the internet that your kids are taken for no reason while we see you literally neglecting a child you do have in custody. Nasty ass cat being all over the place. And whatever the baby kept dropping, she just kept picking it up and giving it back to him once. Um without once getting her ass up and washing it off. If y'all noticed in the live she did earlier and now this short she posted, she's alluded to not being silent, being able to say what she wants. She's either reading from, reading from other people's comments, gagging her at your eyes, threatening her stout ass, but either way, it's telling she keeps saying she can say what she wants. Um... Oh, is this where they post their number? What number is that? I should call it. Is this what uh, Fifi was pretending to be? What's her face? I'm about to call and see what number this is. So it starts at seven. Hold on. Just for shits and giggles, let's see what's going on here. Let's see who it is. Hold on, I'm calling y'all. Uh, three nine one seven. Let's see. Put it on speaker. Automated voice messaging 
actually, honestly, I can call and block them because I don't, I don't care about my phone number being revealed because I don't talk on my phone no way. Um. All right, I'm calling them. I'm blocked. Let's see. Let's see. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voicemail. Oh, it must be one. Probably one of them. I don't know what no. You know, I'm thinking. I thought maybe it was one of those numbers. You're like the WhatsApp or something. Um, so maybe she must have changed her number by now. They saying that's Olivia's number. Uh, wait, what? She did what? So, this person said your baby was crying all weekend, saying her bees hurt, but yet she kept them in her head. Then, she says she always used to do her daughter's hair. That's a lie. Olivia didn't go to the game because she knows she had her ass whooping coming. <laughs> Olivia wants a reaction. Oh, Lord. Just leave this, put up a video a few weeks ago about her ex, how her ex kept calling her. Good show. And he follows right behind her, blasting her in this video, calling her a big foot bitch. Says she's sitting there punching the air. He said the kids don't want to see her while she's talking about they want to see her. He said he was there, and it's clearly a big difference from when she had them. That Gerard bust for them, and that Gerard is not waiting for free shit that people buy. He said she made her bathe, and now that she's alone, he knows she's not bathing, and that's part of the reason. Left her, he said. He's just gonna talk about her older today. What? Good job. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, Liz said it's all acting, I guess so. You know how that go. She thinks she an actress. Oh, 42 minutes in, y'all. We're going to wrap this up. Got one more page. I watched your live with Gerard's sister Danielle commented. Olivia blocked her and got her set. Did anyone catch what Danielle said? Supposedly, Olivia thought she was talking to Zolo when it was actually Fifi. Hmm. I wonder if his family do watch her or what they do. They need to attack her in that line. She put out a... Imagine how crazy I have to be to have your document to prove that your kid's hair was rarely done. To have videos where you hide your kids because you know you've been criticized. To literally have made an entire video about how you don't know how to do your kid's hair. You are learning on a whole three, six-year-old. Then come on a year later and both say, why did you keep the kids hair done? Imagine. Um, somebody said, and if her reason for not showing AJ is so people don't use his photo, then why show your other kids? Because they use your other kids in thumbnails, etc. So why show them? If it was really about that, then she should stop showing them all. And we know damn well if that baby wasn't Zolo, she would have been showing him. Her channel is in the dirt, but taking her kids completely off of definitely for her and deeper. And she claimed that the baby, yeah, she claimed the baby had Down syndrome and some heart issue or something. So I, I just don't understand. Like, you really have to be mentally, mentally unstable 
And it's just unfortunate that Jerron had to have three kids by this girl before he realized how crazy she was. Like, who gets on here? And then again, you know, it's possible that they 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 might have mentioned that to her. Um, but I don't know. I just I don't know why you would like share that with people only to not even address it after the fact and just say, hey, you know what, he turned out, he didn't have it, they told me he might, whatever, whatever, I don't know. In our lives, you can hear baby Zola look up and down a bottle like he's been starving all day. Yeah, of course, I think, I believe the baby is hers, and that it's a real baby, you know, it's a real baby. Um... I guess, you know, some people, obviously, some people still think different, and that's fine. Um, Peppa's baby daddy, Tyrone, Tessa Moore passed away. I read, wait, is that who she, she had a, she had a kid before she married Trish, I think, right? Because I think I read her book. And there was a guy that I think she had a baby by. So I don't know. Everybody just dying. I mean, Kara, Kirsty, Hallie. The judge from back in the day. Um, that was the boxing ring. Guy. Um, I forgot his name. Um... So every time you turn around, uh, the cookie tookie person, and then it's another um transgender that um, I mean I had seen them somewhere on a uh, show, a documentary to find out they just passed away too. Um, that's Liz's baby. Raquel and her husband would never let that crazy ass. Yeah, that's not up for debate. The baby's real. Gerard does have his own house. Him and Nisha together. He doesn't have to raise his kids by himself. He has a fiance. Liv wanted him to live alone because she thought she would be able to come to his place. I just, well, I, it's possible that maybe she, you know, she would still have been willing to, you know, give up the puss here and there. But I just don't think she wanted him back. Um, she wanted access to him. She wanted to be able to call him and say, get over here and do X, Y, and Z without, you know, having to live with him and be a wife. She wants to, you know, have access to him um, without and have the, the um, you know, give him the duties of being a husband without, you know, living together, basically, is what I think, you know, because she's selfish and she's, she's selfish and just an awful person and she's a user you know um like I said there's no way you know most women would never um the man's out there working 12 hour days and you know not just any old job you know just out here working a real job like a hard job at a construction site or whatever and he can't come home to a warm plate of food bitch crazy as hell and not to mention the sad part about it too is like you didn't even um you had three kids by this man so instead of being you know appreciative of that 
and wanting your kid to be able to raise with two parents. You know, you couldn't be bothered to show enough appreciation. But she, it, Gerard, they was never going to be elevated. They was never going to move into a home and be able to, you know, establish um, any real foundation messing around with her. So, you know, I mean, sometimes we make mistakes and we just have to, you know, we have to pay for him, and he's paying for his mistakes by having to deal with living her shenanigans. Um, but it'll get better. It, it'll get better. You know, he has to, unfortunately, you know, he's going to have to deal with this until, you know, hopefully maybe she'll find somebody else or they lock her ass up or something, child. But eventually, it's going to get better. Um, like the song says, trouble don't last always. I'm so blessed. Trouble don't last always. See? I'm so blessed. <clears throat> Olivia's the type of person that will get her ass beat. And when it's said and done, will smile through two black eyes and a busted lip. Oh, she knows. She got an ass up and coming. I'm surprised she goes to the store, child. Because I think I wouldn't be surprised if one of the watchers or, you know, one of the watchers in the comment section catch her ass. Like somebody, like Gerard said, somebody seen him like, I see your baby mama on YouTube. She ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they, you know, I, child, God forgive me, because I'm telling you, I would not feel no ways if somebody stepped to that girl and popped the shit out of her. <laughs> I had to get a paternity test when the mother refuses. I don't know anything about that girl and that child. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so is not thinking about her and that baby. I always feel that when moms ask for their kids not to be posted, it's not because it's out of respect, it's because they don't want the kids to look like a family without her. I mean, yeah, that's a possi that's a possible possibility. Um But it's also her way of trying to control the situation. But she can't tell her not to post nothing with the daddy sitting right there. Hell. If he say it's okay, it's okay. It don't matter what the hell she say. And um, for her to talk about not feeling like a family, she the one did that. She did that. Shit. And it's crazy because she sat up there and talked shit about this man. But show me, I'm listen. I'm like Kevin. I'm gonna get Kevin Samuels on you. Show me the results, bitch. Show me the results. Cause the day you get a man that's better than Gerard, I wanna see it. I wanna see the man that's gonna go out into them streets and work his ass off. And I'm not. I mean, listen. Men do it all the time. A bitch, who you gonna get to do it for you again? You lucked up the first damn time, and that ain't got nothing with to do with Gerard being perfect, bitch, because you ain't perfect, and neither was he. But you work with what you got, Olivia. You overweight, you uneducated. I mean, you lazy. So the man that will deal with you. He ain't going to be no better than what you already had. And the ones that you so-called date and and they and, and you go out on these dates other than having sex with you, they not going they don't have nothing else to offer you sis. Um and the thing of it is as a woman with four children you just ought to want to get married 
again. I mean, for the stability of it all, for the security, bitch. Because I'm not out here trying to work um, 80 hours. So I have to try to provide for myself and my, you know, and, and, and three and four kids. If a man is willing to come through and, you know, willing to work with me. And that's what happens when you have a family. I mean, the bitches that want to do it on their own, by all means, do you. But, you know, ultimately, as you reach a certain plat age in life, I mean, you know, and you have children, and a man is involved, and if you believe in marriage, I mean, hell, then you get married, and it becomes about you and your man, and what y'all can do together, because you're better together, I mean, you can only accomplish so much by yourself. And again, if that's if you want to do it by yourself, by all means, sis. But I know a, a lot of heifers that's um, you know, that's got a lot of regrets because they single as hell, and you know, and 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 they don't have no support, no cushion, you know, so. And you got to think about the future. And at the rate that she going, girl, bye. You're going to be another Stella. And I mean, that's basically, uh, that's how, you know, I mean, hell. You, you, family, uh, family cycle typically repeats itself until somebody puts their foot down and says enough is enough. But Olivia is going to continue the cycle that her mom, you know, created. And, and, and that's just typical. So, again, like I said, she's not going to get any better than Gerard. I don't care what nobody say. And that's coming from somebody who ain't never been married. And I said what I said. So, hmm. Oh, somebody made a comment under my own post. Oh, I said, <laughs> I'll just say what I said. I'm not the violent type, but damn, I wish the one in Texas would just smack the taste out of her mouth or if she in the grocery store and had something in her hand and <laughs> smack it down. I would do it in a heartbeat. I hate myself for even caring this much. <laughs> But this bitch is so beyond disgusting and disrespectful. I hope that a family member sets it off on that cum bucket. <laughs> um, I believe they got married New Year's Eve. I guess they're going back and forth about uh, child support, I guess, child. Um, <laughs> so my Remy, one, two, three, four says, I don't know about that. You would think Gerard and Nisha would say that that's Solo's baby, but they've never said it. And they res she responded, how would they know who nutted in that broad? The kids don't know, only her and Stella. Yeah, the kids don't even know. That's so sad. Because God forbid she tell them and they mess around on the live and say who the baby daddy is. So you mean to tell me they got to grow up not knowing who they child, I mean, they the brother's father is. She got upset when she saw Danielle on her live. That's why she went on a mini rant saying, you know, I don't fuck with you. Go and talk to Helga. I think you can see the comment before the person is blocked. 
Girl, who do you fuck with, Olivia? You already said, you said in one of your last uh, video not that long ago that, you know what I'm saying, that you there by yourself, you don't need nobody, this, that, and the third. I mean, I've never... Gerard made a post that she mentions it more than once. It bothers her. Just remember that. Um, oh, shit. Damn it. Oh, yeah. She was saying she don't need nobody. Blah, blah, blah. Um, And it's like, girl, where are your friends at? Where are your... Don't you got a cousin that you talk to on a regular basis? We ain't heard about a, a cousin, a best friend. I mean, I don't vlog, but, you know, I mean, just a couple years ago, I was going out of town with my girlfriends and hanging out, you know, but since the pandemic and some other things that transpired, and I'm, shit, I'm getting older now, so... I don't really kick it with people as much, but, you know, I still got family and friends that I check up on and check up on me. That I guess if I was a blogger, you might know about one or, at least one or two people share it. And my best friend that I grew up with, but we don't talk as much now, but she more, I consider her more of a sister, and we just... You know, whenever we do get up, we just we catch up like getting, you know, like we never, whatever. And then my cousin, um, you know, we was going out every other week in the past summer up until shit last month. Um, my other, I got other cousins and stuff. I would just imagine if I was a vlogger that I would definitely share that information. I don't know. At least a little bit. Supposedly, Olivia thought she was talking to Zola when it was actually Fifi. Oh, I think I already read that. I think I'm on the last page. Alright, we're gonna wrap this up. Can you imagine one of the kids teachers coming across the channel? Like, does she just have to think about the long term effects? She's so busy trying to stay ahead. Yo, I gotta get that video of her and her all in that black. Um, short, shorts and shirt where she was jiggling her booty. That is hilarious to me. Him leaving her for front of the woman, chef and fire under her ass, the boss up, get fit, get fired. Exactly. And sometimes, you know, not that it should take that, but sometimes, you know, when things happen like that, you might need a wake up call. For whatever the reason is, I'm not saying that, you know, you have to agree or whatever, but sometimes that's what that shit takes. you like, oh, shit, hold up, I done lost my kid. Let me get up off my fat. What the fuck am I doing? Like, you reevaluate, you self-reflect, you go get some counseling. I mean, this bitch is just, like, really sitting here, you know, sitting, sitting in her house, just you know, wasting away, like, <laughs> yeah, she's been the last few years gaining weight, right, gaining weight, drinking, and now with the father of the child, not to mention chain smoking, now, don't forget chain smoking, oh, we talk about us on backwards, that is such a good point, um, right, she's not moved on, she is unhappy, he has flourished while she is bottling her in her pig sty, literally and figuratively. I mean, even if she didn't have a man, she could have had something by now. Like I said, had she not had that baby, she could have been moved on too. 
and they could give to have 50 50 coffee and a kid. She living in, you know, she's gonna move her funky ass to Texas. Um, being that all she has is a mother and a, a, a sister, you know what I'm saying? And he's got his entire family, so she could have, you know, used his family to help her out. I'm sure they, you know. Um, or vice or vice versa. They could help each other out. You wash the kids while I go out, me and my lady go out. Okay, you wash the kids while me and my dude go out or whatever, but I mean fifty fifty custody will take care of all of that. Um and she could have been on had a man that she could have got remarried to and then had her baby. You know, as opposed to bringing a child into the world where you won't even, you know, involve the father. It's as though you purposely did that dumb shit because of how, you know, of what happened to you. Um, and just to watch it happen in real time is really... You know, it's really eye opening. It's really astonishing to know that somebody really will go out of their way and make that decision. Um, and so, you know, it, it, it's, it's crazy. And that proceeds to continue to get on YouTube. Sure, ask me while being sued by her old apartment and child support debt. I want to know how she wore the shirt all day. Slept in it, thank God, the next day. You know she not bathed and changed her panties for nothing. But has the nerve to jump on life up her gums. One thing I can't stand is a nasty person, especially a woman. <laughs> she only makes me wonder what he saw in her. She just, just didn't, she didn't just become the person overnight. She's been the person. I think, you know... Initially, they were, you know, quite a bit younger. What is she, like 32 now? So, what, nine years ago? She was 21. Um, <laughs> what is she, like 32, 33 minus nine years? Okay, so they was in their early twenties. You know, initially, I mean, I think what a lot of people, you know, you just oh, you overlook stuff, and then being that she got pregnant within six months, you know, he was probably raised to stick it out. You know, try to he wanted to be a father to his child, so. Unfortunately, by that time she had the baby, he was already invested because he felt like he wanted to keep his family. And that happened, you know. Um, and just like a lot of us, we don't get to take the time to know the person, but we can't blame that person for not getting to take the time to know him. Shit. Why well, a lot of these women when they get knocked up by men before getting married. First thing they say is, Well, he you know, he wasn't like that or you know, whatever the case is. But damn, bitch, did you even get a, a chance to even get to know him? Um, before you got knocked up? My thing is don't blame it on him. Olivia Lee's little sex and her sexy I was about to say, <laughs> and her version of sexiness, she's more aggressive and assertive, and I do believe you were possibly naive and easily manipulated back then. And it's obvious Olivia's insist that he cannot be manipulated anymore. She seems to be extremely upset that he's no longer playing the game. I'm sorry to say she got her feelings hurt. By her kids this weekend. So someone said something nice about Nisha. Now she's outright picking on her and calling her the evil stepmother. 
y'all said the same thing, kids are kids. And can you imagine, like, those kids, they, um, you know, God forbid they say anything about her nice. Can you just imagine how she makes them feel? Um, I could just imagine. She can't ask them how they doing. I mean, because if she asks them, you know, how, how, you know, what they've been up to, where they've been, what have they done, I mean, hell, everything they do is with Nisha and Gerard. I definitely think she probes them for information when they're in her care or what they provide doesn't align with the malicious hate campaign and further drive her over the edge. Exactly. Because they don't have nothing to say about her. Because if they did, she would have way more to say than uh, the, the things that she says is so petty and so minute. Oh, um, Ryan hates her hair. Ryan, you know, the, the beads bother Ryan. Or, um, you know, um, what's the name? Christian said she popped him upside the head. Or, you know, little stuff. Just little stuff. Um, allegedly. She can't even make a better lies about what 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 Nisha what she claimed Nisha be doing. Because if it was all that bad, you would have ran down to the courthouse or to the cops. Um so I could just imagine and to be so little and have to have to restrain how you talk about your dad and your stepmom just to protect her feelings. And you know they already trying to protect her feelings at this young ass age. It's so sad. Uh, you agree. What? <laughs> oh my God. We got talking about. Um, she mentioned some sort of diet pills. You know. Girl, be careful with the diet pills. I don't mean to be unkind, but her Instagram post, she really is shaped awful. Her hips, calves, and ankles are almost the same size. Oh, what? Remember, he used to come home and tell her to wash her ass. No, no way. He used to come home and tell her to wash her butt. This her? Where's she at? What is this? She looks fake. Um, who got the picture in the back of her? With the big black old ass box in the background wheels looking like 1995 legs. Who took this? Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Did she take the back shot on purpose? Why her ass look like a dinner rack? <laughs> right, who posted that? Not the hoes that pinned down special. Y'all are stupid. She man, stupid. She obligated. Get your fat ass. Oh my god. Y'all put a link in here to the movie? I mean, to the thing? 
I watched it though, my daughter to watch that. Um, time has really been kicking but recently, the last thing she was speaking about, she's talking, and she's still third. My daughter tried to put filters on me today. We went to the, um, Hibachi. And she's gonna give me gray eyes, then got a filter on me, like I got makeup on. I'm like, girl, you don't take this stuff off. Cookie said Olivia's mom should have swallowed her. Oh, I to listen to Miss Cookie. Excuse me. Medical advice. Who gives a medical advice? Are <laughs> you shading a bitch that still has her kids? She says she doesn't vaccinate, but she will take rain and diet pills from a strip mall. And then she shades jazz every video. I see one thing, Jazz got a man and her kids. I mean, not a man that I want, but I'm just saying. The true people that don't believe in vaccinations are into a random vacation. Putting side profile, that white back. She looks downright moist and disgusting. Man, she is huge. <laughs> All right, y'all. And I think I may go in and read some comments. Maybe. I don't know, y'all. I haven't had enough of this. Now. All right, y'all. We're an hour and 15 minutes in. So thanks for tuning in. Make sure you get in the comment section. Tell me what you think. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.